Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. We are currently raiding once again our, well, neighbors. And in that case, there actually, there is some resistance here. So we're fighting at the moment. We have the advantage though, even though we come from sea. And yeah, we've won the battle there primarily. That is it. Victory it out. Nice animations that we get there. The enemy is going and we are raiding now the village here. The village of Namdel Filki, it is called. Right, we get another perk with that as well, so more experience points. And let's just have a look what we can invest it into. We have the Parthen Tactics. Oh, we could also get with Surf the Crowns and Stalwarts, so we can still go with the other ones as well then. Commanding an army, we could get plus four prowess. Um, natural Dread, Control Growth, 0.3%, uh, three per month. Sounds like a good idea. This one here is very good as well. Gives us naval speed 25%. So we are primarily raiding. So having something for the speed is important. But in this case, I'm thinking about the path and tactics. Because this gives me my uh, bonus to my skirmishes. Damage plus 20% and toughness plus 10%. And since most of my army right now is those guys, especially here, the skirmishes. Um, we're going with that. Right? And then we can go with... an. Envelopment, so this gives me a another efficiency of 25% for my men at arms. And yeah, that's it for my, my perks right now. We are raiding still, we are looting right now, and I think quite successfully so. Yep, that's 15 coin that we have once again. Um, I've also gotten a nice prestige bonus, so we actually do have a prestige increase right now outside of raiding. Very important to have that. And let's just see if there is something up here. They look pretty weak as well, so let's continue upwards. Chieftain or peasant, high or low, it does not matter. In the end, we are all mortals. Oh, we're getting the trade ill. I was reminded of this as I woke coughing in the early morning hours, a dull ache pondering through my head and throat. Okay, we need to find a search a court physician right now. Huge problem that we have right now. Um, I think we can get actually someone of our court, like for example, oh, finally, my servants have found some people who might be fit to serve as court physicians. Either way, I fear I cannot afford to be picky now. Um, we've got Anner, we've got Bjorn. Who's Bjorn? Uh, he's a wandering, godless adventurer. Alright, is he good at anything? He's got, oh, he's got nine learning. That's pretty good. We might need that. Let's take Bjorn. Plus, he's way cheaper than Anner. Right? Fantastic choice. Hopefully. Hopefully, I'm still alive. There's so much raiding. The time has come to treat your cold. While I'm fairly certain a simple tincture would suffice, the choice is yours, my lord. Do more than what is necessary. Yeah. Do more. The steam rose from the cup as Bjorn stirred the green powder in it. He explained the healing properties of the herb at length before motioning for me to drink it. The root is in there too, he boastfully revealed. <laughs> uh, the bitter herb turned out to be just what I needed. For now, the worst of my symptoms are alleviated and the world seems a little brighter. Excellent work, Bjorn. We might actually find your wife for that. I hope he's not some kind of Rasputin here because he looks he certainly looks like one. Oh, there is a big battle though. So this is 700 of them and we definitely are weaker. Even though we do have the advantage, it seems like it, it's going down the drain right away. And thus we've lost the battle. Right, defeat. We've lost the 15 coin that we have. So yeah, th this is certainly the doing of my court phys physician. Let's get back home with that. And we also have a victory at the same time. Oh, no, we're still here. We're still in the raiding? Nope. Okay, we're getting home now. When arriving home, my counselor has died. So even at home, we do have problems at hand. I do need to find me a new counsel, a new marshal, that is. Let's have a look. We got a few. So the marshal skill is important. And Alfred looks like a good one. He actually does like me, kind of. Righteous atheist he is. What? In the year 872, he's a righteous atheist. All right, fine by me. Reassign him. And he was my chancellor, so we do need to find us a new chancellor as well. Someone that is better than him, right? We can also see what is important. So I like that. Approachability. So in that case, we can see right away what is important. And Bjorn, he is my core physician. I think he's a good guy, right? Because he helped us. Yeah, this is his chance now to really go somewhere. 
plus he gives me a nice prestige bonus of 0 0.5 so he's pretty powerful in that regard too alfro here he's going to organize the levy still and as I woke this morning and saw rays of sunshine falling through my window, it took me a moment to realize I had slept soundly for the first time in weeks. I did not wake up coughing once. Very good, and we are well on the way again. We still... Yeah, by the way, what is happening? We have... <laughs> my son is coming right after me, it seems. So we both love long blonde hair, a bit curly. And Bjorn is now five. He's still learning. He's good at diplomacy. And he's also building up some prowess, though he's still terrible at it. We do educate him, right? Ourselves. Yes, we are. So that should be fine for now. I love my son. Seriously. Beautiful. We have the same style. We love the same style. Now, since we lost the last battle, my man-at-arms will need to replenish once again a bit. So this takes us a bit of time. But fret not, we are going back into business soon. We still have all the five champions, right? So champions, they are fighting for us in the battle. And these are real char characters, so we can use them. So we have Egil, for example, here, and Arn Bjorn. So those are champions, and we could, for example, you know, help them getting up in our ranks as well, or make them, yeah, favorable towards us. And with that, they would probably fight even better. So we do have a few of them, though we don't have the best, as I can see. Nope, we got some terrible ones down here as well. We should forbid him to being a champion because he's that bad. They may never join. Um, I'm going to allow this guy here and this guy. I'm going to force them to join me in battle when that when the time comes. All right, and after a bit of time, we finally are ready again to raid. Let's raise the army. We are the commander once again of this mighty army and... Yeah, raiding has been activated, so we can go right back to the islands, I guess, if some of these actually have something in store for us. Yeah, up here, Iceland does have something, and they don't look that strong, so let's try it out with those guys. After all, we do need to try something, right? We do need to raid, and there is actually some money. I don't see any resistance so far. Might be a good thing. There is also some money waiting. How strong are they? Weak. Perfect. There we got the first 15 money out of it. No event, unfortunately. I would love some event that gives us some prestige. And we also get another martial perk right away. Let's have a look. Can we also go with another thing entirely? No. So we really have to stick with our lifestyle skill that we have. Um, serve the crown. Gallant. This would give me something with prestige, perhaps. Number of knights plus four. The king's guard. Hmm, strategist. I really want to go with the strategist trait here as soon as possible. Men at arm counter efficiency 25%. We do have lots of men at arms. So in that regard, good thing. And let's continue. 600 we still have, so we are not that worthless. And we are close to 250 prestige. Remember, that is when we can declare war on our southern neighbor. Something that we should be doing. Now the raid is going on. And... Done. No event, unfortunately, but a bit of money. Let's have a look. What else we can do? Any other raiding target? That no, doesn't seem like it. No, I'd rather not go to Ireland yet. Perhaps my neighbors? This one! Yes, my neighbor has some money on the side again. Let's go for it before we um, totally take him over. There we are. Easy done. And... Oh, yeah, bring me Bunch's Plunder. Once again, we have that event that gives us so much so much prestige. I love it when it happens. 75 prestige is a lot of money. Um, there's still also this guy that has a bit of money on the side. Let's go to him as well. By the way, yeah, we are pretty full on the, on the coin then anyway, so we need to get back home. Let's just rate that. That's it. And let's get back home. And we captured also Solvi, who is... Actually, he's no one. We could ransom him if we want to. That Oh, what? 50 coin? Then he is someone. Oh, it's the son of the chieftain. Yes, it's the son of the chieftain, actually. We could also go with a favor, right? So it's the guy down here in this area. Hmm, this is a difficult one because if we get a favor from him, um, he might help us then in the future against someone else for example. And 50 coin, what is it? It's not that much at the moment. So actually, I'm inclined to go with the favor thing. 
Even though, wait a second, he is 63. How long is he probably going to survive? Another winter, two winters? Hmm. No, let's take it. Let's take the money. I don't think that he will survive that long anymore. So, money is fine in that regard. Right, my people are coming back home now too. And then we can finally start a good deal. And we are at five, uh, 400 coin at the moment. So, that is something. And we still have another prisoner, it seems. For He's the son? No, that's the daughter. Of this guy here. He's my neighboring ruler. Let's disband the units. Oh, and hostile army is around. Do we have a raider close by? Is someone raiding us? No. Ah, down here there is a siege happening right now. Someone is taking him. It seems like someone is taking him. Yes. Is it this guy? Because that would be bad strategy-wise for us. No. Okay, it's fine. Right. They didn't take him. So that leaves us enough now room for us to take him. There we have him. Subjugate him. And, oh, we are not on the level yet of Distinguished, so we cannot do that yet. Oh, there's so many hurdles. So we still have to continue raiding. We still need to level up by one for our prestige level. That is pretty close, though. So we're not that far away anymore. How is this guy looking? He's got 500 people, so we might actually take him. But once again, we do need Distinguished to subjugate someone. All right. The way of the sword, the endless clash of metal on metal, the chaving of armor, the sting of sweat. It is a dance that is as familiar as it is exhausting. To have my sword attack, dodge, defend and repeat. Maybe it would do me good to practice my skills with another weapon. Huh. Me and my trusted sword will not part. Let, let's end the monotony, hand me another weapon. This will give me probably 75 prestige. Yes. Yes, and we gained it. We gained the trade... No! <laughs> oh yes, I did. Alright. Very strange event. We still have this event here. Let's accept the ransom for it. And we did get the trade wounded though. Of all the buffoonery I've ever seen, in Burns in aim of efforts to improve my relations with my neighbors, my good-for-nothing chancellor has officially acknowledged Chieftain Hjalskin's claim to the Chieftain of... What?! My good-for-nothing chancellor officially acknowledged what my ch my chancellor of my chieftain. Who is this guy anyway? You're supposed to make friends, not enemies. Unpress. Yes. All right, but this sucks. Seriously, what is my chancellor doing? He's got now a claim on my territory. Though he is extremely weak anyway, so in that case he wouldn't have much of a chance. Still, no idea. Where is my Chancellor? Bjorn. You're supposed to do me good. Foreign affairs. Following the death sentence of a lowly thief, I asked my son and heir Bjorn what he thought. He claimed he had learned a lesson about not reaching for more than one can handle. <laughs> Overreaching can be terribly dangerous. He gets the trade temperate. Mm, he must be taught the proper execution of the law. He might gain the trait. No, he gains the trait. A trait just, and he gets stressed because it's a, against his temperate, and he gets cynical. Now that would be the worst one. Let's get temperate for him. Overreaching can be terribly dangerous. He needs to learn something. And yes, also another trait has been unlocked, so we can go with another point. In this case, we cannot go down here yet, because I think we still need to go with the other ones. So let's go with Organized March. This gives me a bit more movement speed. And then we have Hidden Run. I really want to go to the strategies as quickly as possible. Alright, since I don't want to wait that long anymore to gain the next trade or the next level of fame, of course, that is too slow for my short life. What we want to do is we want to rush towards victory at once. Now, we have the stronger southern enemy or the weaker northern enemy. So, what I will do now is I'm going to um, have a claim on the southern on this one here. So, with the claim, I can get the... Uh, can declare war then without having to wait for the next level of fame. I hope so at least. And the northern one, what we can do here is we could get a smaller county. So we don't have to take the whole chieftain at once. But what we can do is we can declare war. First of all, what I want to check is 
his allies. He doesn't really have any allies and he's attacking someone right now. So in that case, he is weak anyway. And we could declare war on him with, for example, conquer a county. In that regard, we can do that. It does only cost us 25 faith. So we do have 435 at the moment available. So quite enough anyway. And with this, we would get the contestant title. But much more important is we gain 75, uh, 75 fame and 75 prestige. So that's pretty cool. Let's do that. And thus, we have declared the war. Now, let's raise our soldiers. Let's raise all my armies that I have. It's 600 of them. I'm the commander. Let's go down there. Let's do something. Let's do some battle. My people are getting restless if they can't fight. I get restless if I cannot fight. All right, there we are attacking right now in the forge. Here we can see our... Oh, and also who declared war on us? <laughs> he declared war on us right away as well. Let's see if we can do something about that. Um, mercenaries, there is um, there is no mercenary available right now. We do have some prestige, so we could create a new man at arms, and that is the armored footman or the light horseman. Let's get the bowmen, because they can stay in the keep then and defend ourselves if we need that. And at the same time, yeah, that's enough for now, because that is enough prestige anyway. Let's take this one and then help our bowmen. And as we can see, there they are, the 525. Is he going for me now? We'll see about that. I think he's rushing towards... Oh, he's rushing towards my county now. To the vile chieftain Iricur. It has become clear that your Godi is working to establish a false and spurious claim on the chieftain of Rak Yafilki. Do not think that this kind of dishonorable action will go without response. Right, we got the claim. We lost the trade wounded. Right now, he is still taking that. We are, we're trying to take this one first. We got it. And, oh, we can already finish it. We can now enforce our demands. Enforce the demands, get 75 tame, and that's it. To the loathsome chieftain Irikru, may your humors rot in your living body. You are a much greater foe than I imagine. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. Right, let's get down to this guy here. We are very nicely defending ourselves right now and as we can see we got it now we got horde i feel yeah we got the, the county now we only need to defeat those armies though with that however we can still wait a bit let's wait a bit and oh my i think my yeah concubine is trade is pregnant i don't know if i liked it or not we still need to wait here a bit because as we can see he's losing some troops right now on the siege now we should go in and now he's fleeing the scene. But that was not good for him. And there we have him. Very good. We have the advantage of the battle and thus we defeated him. Let's see what else happens. A lot of things are happening right now. We've won the siege. The battle is over, I think. Oh, yes. And we can still defeat him now. In that case, I don't think we get anything out of it. But we do get lots of prestige, most likely. But no county or something like that. My chancellor died. He, oh, he was in the combat as well. So Bjorn, oh, Rasputin, he's dead. Um, he was in the battle. We do need a new chancellor. Uh, let's see, we do have one, Alpha. Oh, but he's my marshal. We have a steward. This is my guest, but he's so bad at diplomacy that I certainly will not accept him. So what we need to do is, we need to have a special event on this. Um, we need to invite champions to the court. And that is exactly what we can do. Send the Herald. This would cost me um, 150 prestige. At least three able-bodied men with 10, 12 or more prowess will arrive. Oh, prematurely. My concubine, Ulf Hildre, assures me it is the way of life. But her hand lingers on her belly. She's no longer pregnant. And she doesn't like that, of course. Huh, I don't know. That seems a bit expensive, though, getting those champions than getting him this way. Let's have a look if we do not have anyone else in our court that we might use. Now, let's finish the battles first. Anything else happened? No, Bjorn is dead. Course Physician Knowledge increases. Oh, yes. Yeah, well, he died. So, Bjorn no longer is in use to us. Now, let's just see if we can try this one. Looks good. What is he doing? He's going in from the back again. 
Bjorn has been asking me for a spinning top for a long time and I told him I would get one for him in three months if he displayed more focus on his studies. Asking me for a spinning top? He responded that he was fine with his current dedication to his studies, reward or no reward. We all learn to live with our lot in life. He keeps the trade content. Yeah, the rest seems like a punishment once again. What is a spinning top? Alright, there we got it. And I have prowled through documents, both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord. Yes. So we have the claim on this one now too. And we can now enforce our demands, which happens what? We get 14 coin. Right, and thus the war is over. We can go back home, disband our units, probably have some more raiding again. That was successful. We have grown, as we can see. We got the whole. We got the whole chieftain. We gained a level of uh, fame as well. My glory is widely known. Alright, and as we can see, we are now distinguished. So now we can finally subjugate enemies. We can finally now just go to war against them with the only goal of actually subjugation. So that seems pretty cool. Um, empty council position we still have. We have another perk. Hit and run for our heavy infantry and the archers. Archer damage plus 30%. That is insane. We have lots of archers. Let's go with this one as well. So now, actually it seems like we don't have a choice here, right? We have to get all these points to get to the last one. So in that regard. So that we get the 75 prestige. We have lots of prestige right now. And we've also finished a task to fabricate the claim. Beautiful. I gotta say that. Now we have Horkru. He's a wanderer right now. So this is happens from time to time that people just come to your court. Um, and you can take them. Recruit them if you're quick enough. He's my guest at the moment. But he's also pretty bad at diplomacy. So I'm not going to recruit him right now. Um, the Chancellor is so very important. We have... Aren't Bjorn right now, but we cannot take him. The idea is that I could reassign someone, you know, so someone with high diplomacy, Alpha, for example. And this guy, at the same time, he's good at martial skills. He's better than him, actually, as martial skills. So let's do that and recruit this wanderer here to our court. Let's just see that, or let's just hope that that works. And yes, there we have him. So we got now a new marshal. He's also able to increase control in county because he's got a better skill. This one here is still now doing the foreign affairs. But yeah, we've grown. We are a bit bigger now than before on this huge landmark. Um, I have to disband my units, of course. Let's just have a look how good this new territory is. As we can see, no taxes at the moment from them. I think they still need to um, recover from the raiding and all of that. But so far, that's not going to happen. I cannot do anything else here right now. So we just have it. Um, and it belongs to us at the moment, right? So we can hold three domains at the moment. Oh, my, in my domain, I can have three holdings. So I can still go with another one. And then I would have to assign vassals to these territories as well. Which will make the whole game much more complicated then. Because then also, of course, your reputation with the vassals and of stuff like that is happening. You can create the Duchy of Westland. So we can create a new title, which is this whole thing here. We do have two out of the three uh, counties or chieftains. Um, yeah, chieftains in this duchy, so we can create it. We can create this one. It costs me 125. Um, and we have two de jure counties, and we can create the title. Gives me 300 prestige, and we get the title. And thus we are it. We are now a mighty Jarl. We have gained a new rank as well. This is looking splendid. I mean, I'm looking good now too, right? I'm 29 by now, and we have gotten the title of Westland. And thus, we are no longer the other name, but we are Westland now. Beautiful. And we're thus... What are we actually now? Yes, we have the Jarldom of Westland now. So we are Jarl from now on, no longer a chief, but a Jarl, and thus we are higher. And also what comes with that, we have now a claim on this duchy here as well, since this belongs to the whole Jarldom. In that case, we go with that next. Thus we are growing, but of course we shouldn't let that keep us from raiding, especially Ireland. Here we go, stay tuned. <laughs> 